BOM Business Network. So much for one broadcast. It is no longer news that the Fudge government has declared June 12th of every year Democracy Day in honor of the late MK Abiola, the winner of the June 12, 1993 presidential election. This development, however, has attracted mixed reactions. Nonetheless, whatever way this is being interpreted, the president's moves must be applauded. Hello everyone, a beautiful morning to you. Go to be on your screen again. I am Ethel Okwala. You're watching the EOM Business Network. Straight up, business as usual. We will kick off with new segments. The after spot on with the manager director and chief executive officer of Ruzu Aba Products and Services, Dr. Uzo Oyemaichi Roberts. And on the face to face with the manager director and chief executive officer of Associated Ports and Marine Development Limited, Diamond Atuyota. This is an episode you can afford to miss. Sit back, relax, as I bring you the details. This is an amazing job opening. Media Television Marketing. A university or polytechnic degree in marketing or mass communications. XNYC. Good looks. Good spoken English. Marketing experience. Between 22 and 40 years old. 5 feet 9 inches tall or more. 250,000 naira per month. A car and a driver. If the cap fits, then send your CV to eombusinessnk at yahoo.com. Dear SMEs and multinationals, resident in Ogo State and its immediate environs, you are all invited to participate in the proudly Ogo State Gateway Connect 2018 event, holding on Thursday, 21st June. Theme, cost and ease of doing business in Ogo State. Venue, Cultural Center Kuto Abekuta, Conference speakers, Emmanuel Ijewere, FCA FIOD, Coordinator, Nigerian Agribusiness Group. Please join me at the Ogun State Gateway Connect 2018, which is holding on 21st of June 2018. Chief Mrs. Adeshola Adebutu, President, Ogusima. Guests of Honor, Honorable Commissioners of Agriculture, Forestry, culture and tourism and the special advisor to the governor on trade and investment special guest of honor otuba bimbo ashiru honorable commissioner of commerce and industry chief guest of honor his excellency ibikule amosu fca con governor ogo state registration is free branded exhibition booths and spaces are still available at a fee call Michael on 081-5262-8956. Welcome to Ogo State, gateway to unlimited business opportunities. Proudly Nigerian campaign, great nation, great opportunities. Hello, my name is Kule Afford. Why you should invest in Headlight Nigeria Limited? Talking of rapid appreciation of land value, think of Headlight. Our estates are strategically located within axes of Ogun and Lagos State. Premier Garden City Estate, Mowe, Ogun State. Main Street Estate Plus, Adara, Ogun State. Sprawling Home Estate, Arepo, Ogun State. Premier Garden City Estate, Ibejuleki. Payment terms are flexible and affordable. Buy into the future now. Let us start with the educational sector. Founder of Fruitfulville College, Bishop David Adeleke, has refuted claims by a school of thought that the educational standard in Nigeria is falling. Me, I believe that our edu educational standard is not falling. I will even say this because we, you know, we, because we are running an international school and we have seen some of our students that are left here and traveled abroad. In fact, from our primary school, we've seen a lot of them relocating to the U.S., to the U.K. By the time they get there, they are always leading. So if 
our education have been so down as people generally see. What we should be having is that when they get there, they should be struggling. So and I'm sure we are not the only schools that deliver on such quality. I don't agree that education standard is going down. To Business Matters, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Mobility Art Nigeria Limited, George Agi, who was recently honored with an award at the African Brand Congress Merit Awards 2018, has identified some ways Nigerians can run successful business. First of all, I think you need to be motivated because there are lots of challenges in Nigeria. If you don't have motivation, if you start, they can just extinguish your fire. So you need to just keep burning the oil. So um, there are lots of challenges, but the first thing you need to do is you need to know what you want to achieve. You need to have a proper plan. You need to plan end to end. You need to have a budget. You need to um, have a vision because even if you have a budget and you don't have that vision, you can achieve nothing if there's no vision. So I think these are the necessary things that you need to have in place. Motivation, budget, and vision. The truth is there's no quick money nowhere. No one should ever tell you that there's quick money anywhere. It's just not there. No one drops money on the floor for you to go and pick up. If you try to even get money quick, even if you get it quick, it goes quick because you never worked for it in the first place. So the truth is, if you want to make money, sometimes you just need to be creative to make money in a decent way. It may not be as difficult as it may be for others. Everybody has own cross to carry. So I don't think there's anything like quick money. You just need to just focus on what you want to do as a person, have a vision, have an objective, try towards achieving your objective, and don't let anything um, discourage you from going for your objective. Sometimes you may start something and the whole world may seem to be against it. If you believe in it, push it, push it forward, push it to the end. If you fail, try something else again. Just keep trying. Still on business and the environment, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of E2P Exquisite Procurement, Bosse Akitunde, spoke to EOM Business Network News on handling competition in business operations. I give whatever I'm doing my best shot. And by so doing, I'm dedicated to what I do. I am concerned about my clients. I take their satisfaction very, as in as that's my top priority. So by doing that, I make sure that I give them what they want. So even when they complain, I try my best to, you know, solve that issue that they, they complain about. So the competition per se, there's, it's, it's really stiff. I won't say, I won't lie. It's really stiff. But when you carve your own space, you understand, and work hard in that your space to make sure that your clients have something good to talk about you, then you find out that the way is paved for you. And to Tourism Matters, Chief Executive Officer of Travelware Nigeria Limited, Victoria Ajala, spoke on the need for government to adequately support the operations of the Nigerian tourism industry. If you empower our clients, they have a credit facility, they will patronize us more. You understand? They will plan more trips because they don't have to pay cash. Our system is basically cash and carry. All the credit, all the cards we have are debit cards. You understand? So you're buying, you're paying, and if the government can come in, like a third party player or something, you know, encourage and um, help the clients, encourage them more with these credit facilities, then I think we'll make better progress. And that is the EOM Business Network News. News. The ARB Solar Investment Limited, the renewable energy giant and solar hub of Africa, is a consultancy and general contracting company positioned to providing quality alternative power solutions in Nigeria. Since 2010, JRB Solar Investment Limited has been working strategically to facilitate innovative productions and distribution of environmentally sustainable energy solutions. JRB Solar Investment Limited is into sales, installation, maintenance, and servicing of highly efficient and durable alternative energy systems of various capacities. Its range of products and services include solar panels, batteries and solar home systems, LED light street lamps and solar power traffic lights, inverter and battery maintenance, home and office systems installation, and many more. Come over to JRB Solar Investment Limited, 2 IBM Haruna Street, Otako District, Abuja, Nigeria. Call telephone number 0302-2242-2242.
080-5775-5008-080-5943-9425. JROB Solar Investment Limited, your one-stop shop for renewable energy solutions. The role and relevance of the housing industry of any modern economy cannot be overemphasized. And Nigeria is not an exception. Interestingly, the industry in Nigeria has continued to evolve in the entire process of socio-economic development by consistently recording higher levels of growth. It is a major concern that this very important industry has continued to suffer setbacks owing to inconsistency in government policies, high cost of services, unfriendly tax systems, inadequate funding and other related issues. The EOM Business Network News spoke to some practitioners in the industry on their challenges and prospects in their operations. Architect Maga Jude is the chairman and chief executive officer of Stone Build Global Concepts Limited. Our Stone Build Global Concept is a design and construction company which is based here in Abuja. It was incorporated in 2009. Uh, Stone Build was once upon a time a dream. Today it's, it's a reality. And by the grace of God, we've, uh, we've positioned ourselves you know, in, in a very profound way in the construction industry. We've gone into institutional buildings, such as uh, schools. We build schools in um, Kaduna. We build schools at um, Uyo. We've gone into uh, other public buildings like hotels. We've done a hotel, a 60-room hotel at uh, Buari, FCT here. We are currently working on a 50-room at um, One Man Village, National State. We're also, um, we've also done a three-star, so to say, hotel at Uyo, which is uh, still ongoing anyway. And then again, we've also done quite a number of residential buildings. I can't count them from different areas, in Garki, in Wuse, Maitama, Asokoro. Currently, we're working on two in Asokoro. Uh, and a whole lot. The engineering sector. Yes, I will say we've done well, but we're not there yet. There's still a whole lot more to do in engineering. That is, if you want to start to compare us with, you know, other countries out there, we are still very, very far. We were back then in school, in 300 levels, when we came for excursion, they were telling us that in Abuja they have a, a skyline. You can't go more than 11 floors. That's the limitation. Why? Because this, you know, an architecture they are trying to maintain. But today, if you look at it, we still we have high-rise buildings, like the church gates. You know, that is not part of the plan. But things are changing. Now, when you begin to have such structures in place, it tells a lot about the, the, the strength, you know, of, of the, the engineering aspect of the country. Daniel Adegoke is the managing director and chief executive officer of GECO Space Integrated Facility Services. GECO Space Integrated as a company started way back in 2001. While I was in the university, I had this interesting lecturer who having um, mentored me through the construction industry because um, if I go back down history, I actually wanted to be an architect, but I ended up being a builder. Gecko Space has been running since 2001, but in between 
change of career path, change of job, went into facilities management, which is also another aspect of um, construction. I worked as a project manager with Hegai Homes. That's um, the same Hegai Mortgage Bank in Lagos. So I was the assistant project manager for a while. Then I also joined Green School, GRA Keja, as a facilities manager. Working in the oil and gas industry, that brought me into Abuja. Well, since 2001, I think as a last count, we've, we've established presence in about six or seven states across Nigeria, in the northeast, the south-south, in the southeast, southwest, now in the FCT. So we've had uh, an unfair share of footprints across broad. But major achievements have been the fact that we've been able to like make ourselves um, a credible brand that um, clients can actually trust. Because um, the issue of trust in the construction industry is a major challenge um, that everybody faces, even the big companies still face that, not even just the indigenous ones. The future for Nigeria's construction industry could be very bright if we have more support from the government in two directions. Number one, infrastructure to support such developments, putting the right things in place, the power, the roads and all that. We all know those are major challenges in Nigeria. But there's a lot that could be done to fast track this. If I take, for example, in Abuja, we have many project sites and we have many essay developments that are located in sections in town, not even the outskirts, sections in town. But most people will not want to subscribe to such because there's no good accessible road into such areas. There's no pipe or water in such areas. There's no power in such areas. I mean, you can just imagine right in the heart of Abuja around Durumi, and local Goma that are still within the city limits. You have limited good roads around such. And there are lots of plots that are just lying fallow there. The developers can develop because there's no infrastructure. Chibet Instruments Limited, your one-stop renewable power solutions provider, is positioned to deliver customer-oriented and innovative energy storage solutions that are reliable, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly. All Chibex systems are fully equipped with robust lithium batteries, battery management systems, inverters, charge controllers, UPS, digital display panel, etc. and are covered by a five-year warranty. Chibex Instruments Limited products let you power your homes and your business anywhere, anytime, always. Dr. Uzu Onyemaechi Roberts is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Ruzu Abra Products and Services. Ruzu Abra Products and Services uh, was incorporated on the 12th day of November 2007. And today, the company has grown organically to become a leading name in manufacturing of creative herbal drugs in Nigeria. This was made possible because of the facilities we have, we put in place. We have a, a well-equipped uh, state-of-the-art machineries in our factory for processing of all our drugs. We have a capable hands, men with vision, determination, who have passion for health and, and are working assiduously to see how they can contribute to the fortune of humanity. This, uh, and uh, the company today uh, has grown to, you know, from mono products to multiple products, uh, from a capital base of 2,500 Naira to a, uh, a commanding uh, capital base. And um, one interesting thing about this uh, our, our company 
is that we, we, the company was not actually built based on what we want to achieve as in monetary terms, quote unquote. It was built on the fact that we want to save life. And in the process of saving life, we make money. That exactly has been the strength of the company. I, I feel excited, yes. Um, it's as a result of hard work, focus, determination, and tenacity. Um, this is um, not the first award we have received. We have received a series of awards, both local and international. And uh, we receiving this award to do is a, is a sign of our continuous effort to, to give um, our esteemed um, consumers uh, their desired needs. <music> we have Ruzu Habad bitters today, a well-known bitter, bitter with a different um, sold in Nigeria, in Africa, and even in US and South Africa. We have the Ruzu Habad tea. The effect can be seen within a few hours of intake. Uh, we have the Ruzu Black for men exclusively for that extra drive for that man. And also we have the Ruzu Abba Bam, and of course the Ruzu Abba Soup, and the Ruzu Skin Care. These are the, the, some of the products that we are able to push in into an Andra market, an outside an Andra market. Um, basically, we are not doing badly. Uh, the only challenge is we, we really need to pay adequate attention to this sector because it's not just about uh, uh, business or money. It's about taking care of um, our heads. The issue of um, medical personnel going on strike, having issues with the government, all these are, are challenges. And uh, apart from that, another issue is when how to deal, what has to do with um, the harbor practitioners uh, relationship with uh, the medical doctors. Uh, I see what we are doing as complementary. I see what I are doing as everybody having working towards a goal, which is giving a good head to the general public. Associated Port and Marine Development Company, APMDC, is a leading ship agency and logistics solutions provider in Nigeria. It is established to service vessel owners and charterers for their shipping concerns across the country. Over the years, with a team of core and competent professionals, Associated Port and Marine Development Company has been providing top-notch quality service delivery to its clients, which has earned it the accolade of Africa's most trusted quality shipping and logistics service company of the year 2015. APMDC's complete range of services includes ships husbandry, rig movement, bunkering and fuel supplies, warehousing and distribution, vessel clearance in and out of port, offshore clearance without officials going on board, documentation including shipping, customs and immigration, expatriate quota positions and working visas, crewing, security and many more. Come over 7B Araya Street off Ududua Street, Apapa GRA Lagos. Telephone 080-3304-3564. Associated Port and Marine Development Company. Diamond Atuyota is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Associated Port and Marine Development Company Limited. I think it's an award well deserved by us because um, we operate very quietly. We really don't make a lot of noise about ourselves. Uh, upon the fact that we're also growing and uh, the good service we, we render to people actually speak for itself. We, we operate in serious quality, proper quality management system that goes through audit. As we are now, we are ISO certified. And I, I think that's where even most of these award uh, companies actually figure us out to do a bit of due diligence to find out who we are. So our good quality of services actually speak out. So the award is well deserved. And like I always tell people, uh, we're here to actually make a difference in the industry. 
I think it's doggedness. Nigeria is a place where, you know, it's a very difficult terrain to do business, actually. Policies, the yields and odds, especially in this industry. The uncertainty people have actually demonstrated, like the foreign partners, you know, they demonstrate towards Nigerians and the, the issue of trust that has actually bedeviled, you know, some practitioners here. It's even enough to make people fail, but we, we've tried our best to give the best of partner relationship to, to, to partners abroad. And also, despite the challenges in the industry, policies and all of that, we kind of find solutions to solving problems of our partners and also customers. And this we do by brainstorming, thinking about strategies, the ways and means of actually making the lives of our customers better. So that is how we, we thrive, and that's how we, we actually uh, have you know, gotten to this level we've gotten to. But we're just going to do nothing but get better, and by the grace of God, get on top as number one in the industry in Nigeria. Wow, and on this note, to call it a wrap. Many thanks indeed for being part of this. On behalf of the rest of the production team, our sincere appreciations goes to our sponsors for their continuous interest and support. Don't forget to follow us on the EOM Beast Network across all social media platforms. I'm Ethel Okpala. Do have a great week.